this is Lauren Makeup by Lauren Ann, and today I have a haul video for you guys to watch. And in this haul, I have things from several places. Uh, if you didn't see, I did a follow me around the mall video, and I'll put a link in the sidebar. And that was basically me with a video camera and my sister at one point, and um, you know in different stores and showing you what I got in a few places, things like that. And it was really fun to do, so go check that out. Alright, so I'll start with the haul from the mall. I don't know that rhymes. Um, I also went out today and got a few other things. But um, basically, I had saved up a lot of money and, um, you know, for a nice day out, and so that's how this happened. I usually can't do all this. This was kind of like a treat. So, first, at Sephora I got this Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Sugar Cookie. And it smells like sugar cookie. And it's a very nice nude. I have it on right now. Very nice nude shimmer. And it comes with a brush applicator. So if you like the sponge tip and not brush, don't get this. But this was $7.50 and that's half off the regular price. Um, and so I thought I'd get it because I've been wanting to try one of these lip glosses, but I didn't want to pay full price. At MAC, guess what I got? The other Viva Glam lipstick. I already had the Lady Gaga, but I got the Cyndi Lauper, because I had been seeing it in so many videos, and basically everyone gets them together, they don't, they don't just get one, so I really regretted not getting it. And um, so I donated $28 in full to AIDS, which is really good. Um, it's a really good cause. And so, really cute. It has a signature, as always. And I'm really glad that I did it. So, and it's a nice sheer red. And it's not, you know, too dramatic. I got a couple rings. I'm into kind of big fashionable rings lately. I got this one at Icing. It's a bow and it has tons of diamonds. Um, I didn't particularly want the diamonds, but I think it's a little overkill, but I thought it was really cute anyway. And so it looked like that. Minus the other rings. It's a little overkill. But uh, this was fourteen fifty, so it's one of those things I'll do every now and then, but you know, an icing ring for fourteen fifty, I didn't really want to. At Claire's this one was six fifty and it's adjustable. So you can put it on any finger, and it's just a black rose. This one's plastic, whereas this one's, um, like metal. Next I went to Lush, and there are only two Lush stores in Connecticut. One in the Danbury Mall, which is where I went, and one in Mohegan Sun. And they're both, um, at least an hour away from where I live, so, you know, I can't do it all the time. So this was my first time, and the lady there was really nice. She gave us a little tour of the store and told us about everything, and I was really intrigued. It's a really, it's different than Bath and Body Works. It's, it's um, a different experience. I like it. Um, it you know, everything's homemade, everything's vegetarian, most of it's vegan, so it's very thoughtful. So I only got two things because I didn't want to go overboard my first time. So, I got the Whipstick Lip Balm, and this is a chocolate scented one, and it smells, honest to goodness, like chocolate. This really does. Like, there are lip balms that say they smell like chocolate and they aren't. This is made with real chocolate, so it is divine. And then also chocolate-related, this cupcake uh, face mask. This expires in three weeks. Which, at first I was like, eh, that's not really great. But, it was only $6, and this one is especially good for teenagers with oily skin and acne. So it kind of looks like a mud mask. It smells again kind of like a fresh chocolate. And so I'm excited to use that. Hopefully it'll help with my skin. And then, I came home to a delivery. And this is from RSDELG45. And she... And they sent me Lush stuff. And I got 13 Lush items from this person. So thank you so much. Um, it's really interesting. So all together I got uh, 15 things from Lush that day. Pineapple Grunt Soap. And I'm just going to kind of tell you what they are. Angel's Delight Soap. A Heart Massage Bar. And a Green Sugar Scrub. Honey I Wash the Kids Soap. 
Rock Star Soap, Butter Bam Bath Bomb, Sex Bomb Bath Bomb, another bath bomb that I didn't really know the name of, Novi Bar Soap, I don't know, tell me if that's right, Purple Bluish Soap, which she gave me the names of in a message, so I kind of got to look at that, Frosty Gritter Bubble Bath, I think, a shampoo, it kind of looks like maple syrup, doesn't it? And then, Angels on Bare Skin Cleanser and Soft Exfoliator. So I got all that from that person, and I'm just so fortunate, and I'm so thankful. So, thank you so much. I mean, that's really great. And I'm going to have fun testing out Lush stuff. I mean, finally. You know, I've been wanting to test some of their stuff out for a long time. Today I went to Walmart and Walgreens, uh, especially for a few things. First of all, I'll do Walgreens even though it was my last stop. I got this CoverGirl quad in Drama Eyes. I've wanted this for a long time because Emily Noel 83 uses this a lot in tutorials and she's recommended it. And it seems really interesting because you can make it natural or dramatic. And I really like this color right here. It's kind of a brick red plum kind of color. So I'm really excited to use that. And I was going to get it at Walmart, but it was out of stock. And then I finally got a couple of the Wet n Wild uh, palettes eyeshadow palettes and these were only five dollars each and you get three shimmery and three matte shades and I got lust and greed and so I didn't get the other two just because I didn't want them but these, this has really nice purples kind of in it and I haven't used these yet obviously so I can't really tell you anything about them and this is in greed I think I already said that and it kind of has naturals and then like silver black, so kind of makes a natural more edgy. And then, last but certainly not least, I don't know if you noticed, but my hair is straightened today. I used a flat iron, and it is not one that I owned previously to this day. It is this Andis flat iron. This is a one inch Andis multi heat ceramic. It kind of reminds me of a, what a GHD looks like, only it's, you know, $200 cheaper. And it has multiple heats. It goes up to 400 degrees. There's an on-off switch. And I gotta say, this is so much better than the one I used to own. Um, I have a Conair three-quarters of an inch one that I got... Um, a year and a half ago and it, it, it was terrible from the start. So this one is sturdier, it doesn't pull my hair, it heats, it heats up quickly and I don't need to put the heat up all the way to get a decent amount of heat and it just straightens really quickly. So I kind of did a quick uh, flat iron but um, you can kind of see it is straighter than what I usually wear it like. So I'm excited to try this and I really hope it works out and it lasts long because I really want a flat iron that wouldn't break the bank uh, but is very good. And two people recommended this to me so I thought why not try it. It's only $15 at Walmart. Um, that makes me kind of skeptical because that, the Conair one was 12 when I got it. So hopefully this works out. But so far I really like it. So that is my haul and... Lots of good places. I mean, I got Sephora, Mac, Lush, and some drugstore items, so I hope you enjoyed this haul. Again, go watch that video if you haven't yet. It's in the sidebar. And on my nails is this really cool rainbow color. It's not really coming off, but um, it's by China Glaze. Alright, so thanks for watching. Rate, favorite, comment, subscribe. And, you know, as always, tune in for my videos. There will be more. I know someone messaged me saying they were worried because they didn't see videos this past week. Once again, I don't make videos during the week, usually. I mean, I could upload some, but I don't record them. And so weekends. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.